Welcome to Transform 30. My name is Dr. Mitra Ray, and I'm fiercely committed to being a trusted guide for those who love life, those who want to be healthy, fit, and gorgeous. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in India and moved to the U.S. when I was eight years old. I watched my parents struggle with the pressures of being first-generation immigrants and how they fell ill due to stress and other lifestyle factors. I lost my father to his second heart attack and my mother to Alzheimer's. And so I became interested in studying health at a very early age because I did not want to end up aging before my time. I've come to realize over the years that I have the critical mind of a scientist and engineer, but I also have a healer's heart because I love to share what I've learned with others and help people find the simplest path to better health. I also like to keep things real. I'm a busy mom too, so I truly honor people's limited time and budget. And after almost three decades of research and working with people, doing retreats, cooking demonstrations, consultations, I gotta tell you that this 30-day challenge is the best thing I could possibly share with you. Now, this is not a 30-day program and that's it. You never have to do anything again. That wouldn't be very realistic. This is really a 30-day jumpstart to prove to yourself that diet really can make a huge difference, but not just diet, some hints I'm gonna give you as to how to do things very efficiently. Let's talk about how 30 days can truly change your life. Whether you're pretty healthy already or you have some kind of chronic condition, there are two trends that are affecting all of us today and our children. The first trend is the decline in the quality and nutrient density of our food. Why are companies having to fortify your food and why are so many people taking supplements? It's because the food we eat is not grown nor harvested nor delivered to our plate in the same way it was for your parents and grandparents. The second trend is the increase in toxicity on our planet. For instance, we have more industrial chemicals coming out every year and the combustion of fossil fuels is creating a huge amount of pollution in our air. There's pesticides that are going on our vegetables that isn't really salad dressing. And what are endocrine disruptors? These are all the plastics that mimic hormones in the food. So all that saran wrap and the plastic containers, please do not microwave in plastic containers because these phthalate molecules leach out and mimic hormones in the body and really make it hard for you to regulate your own hormones. Then there's heavy metals everywhere. For instance, there's a thin layer of lead all over the planet due to leaded paint and gasoline. We already talked about all the food additives and the drugs that people are taking. Even if you're not taking drugs, unfortunately, you do have to spend money on cleaning out the water because all these drugs are now in your water. So, some government standards say that maybe all these individual chemical exposures are within some kind of safe limit, but the reality is that the daily combination of all these sources of toxins play a havoc on our system. This is a huge problem. And instead of focusing on cleansing the body, most doctors are trying to merely treat the symptoms, usually with minimal success. Medications and hospital procedures only add to your toxic load. Most people do not immediately connect the dots between how they feel or whatever diagnosis they have received with the toxic load that is in their system. And we're hugely misinformed about how we can help get rid of these toxins, specifically by helping your liver. Your liver is like the brain of the whole digestive system and its job one of its main jobs is to clean up the blood circulating in our body. Now, on one hand, you see these toxins that are in the blood on the left side, and they go through these phase one, phase two reactions to become something that's water soluble. So these most of these toxins start out as fat soluble toxins, and they become water soluble so they can come out your urine. But most of these toxins are fat soluble, therefore they hang on to extra fat in the, in the body. So these toxins are enrobed by fat molecules to protect your vital organs from toxic exposure. And when they go through these reactions, the toxins should come out your urine and the extra fat should come out your stool. Now, this is how it's supposed to happen. However, it doesn't happen this way because if you look under the phase one phase two reactions you see there's all these cofactors and these are catalysts that come from eating lots of fruits and vegetables that allow these reactions to happen and in today's world we just cannot even eat enough fruits and vegetables first of all most people are not eating enough and even if you were to eat as much as you could it's still a not enough to actually complete these reactions we need as many of these cofactors as possible 
So here's a picture of a woman on the left with lots of toxins in her body, and her body has stored extra fat in order to enrobe these toxins and protect her vital organs as much as possible. Her attempts to burn fat fail, and she rebounds. Why is that? First, her body was storing extra fat as a protective mechanism in order to keep those vital organs from toxic exposure. And when you try to burn the fat by either dieting or over-exercising, you actually increase your toxic exposure. Then the body rebounds and hangs on to even more fat in order to try to protect yourself. So consider that you're always at your perfect weight for self-protection. So we really need to help the liver. Instead of trying to diet or exercise, we need to eat more fruits and vegetables and different colors. Now let's take a poll. Think about how many different colors of fruits and vegetables did you eat yesterday? Okay, we need to eat a variety of colors. Now while this slide is up, I'm gonna ask you, when you eat an orange, do you eat the rind of that orange where most of the bioflavonoids are? Now, we're going to look at what happens when we cleanse instead of diet with the woman on the bottom. Here you have the same woman with all the to toxicity and the extra fat, but when plants are part of her ongoing cleansing program, she can remove those toxins and shed the fat very easily even without tons of exercise. Most cleanses do not leave much room for exercise because when the body is cleansing, it has little energy left for an exercise regimen. I'll talk more about that later. Now note that some people just have a metabolism that naturally makes them skinnier or they just over-exercise. Being skinny doesn't make them less toxic. In fact, when skinny people are not able to hang on to extra fat, they become more susceptible to other diseases such as certain types of cancer, and you'll also see people with type 1 diabetes that are skinny, but they do have a high toxic exposure. So I'm going to go back a couple of slides and just say that basically if we could help these toxins come out through your urine and stool and the fat come out your stool, you'd feel a lot better. So really what I'm trying to say is I'm going to help you pee and poop more at the end of the day to make things real simple. Okay. Now, have you ever done a cleanse? Well, people have been doing cleanses forever. They're really a part of many ancient rituals and traditions all over the world. Water fasting and juice fasting are ancient practices with a long history. The only problem with them is that, that make you, they make you feel weak and unable to function. I've done a, uh, water cleanses twice in my life where I was strictly drinking water for about a week. And I went to a water cleansing clinic and paid them lots of money, basically to not feed me anything. When you simply drink water, you do promote those phase one, phase two reactions I described earlier. But let me tell you, I was curled up in a ball detoxing for both weeks. There was nothing really wrong with me. I just wanted to experience the process of water um, cleansing to see if I wanted to recommend it to other people as a healing modality. But the reality is I got very weak and it took me months to recover my strength. You may have also heard of the master cleanse. Now, this is not really doable um, for a long time because you're going to get, first of all, sick of that taste of maple syrup, cayenne, and lemon. Secondly, most people regain the weight because you can't possibly do this all the time. So there's lots of different cleanses on the market today because people are realizing that cleansing is important. And the only problem with all of this is that you may purchase something, but you don't know if it's going to work. And even if it does, does work, how do you know it's not going to make you weaker? Transform 30 is unique because you can modify the cleanse so that you can minimize those detox symptoms and you can live normally and not lose your strength. In fact, if you exercise, you will gain lean body mass and more defined muscles. This is important for those people who are not looking to lose weight, but actually increase their lean body mass. Normally, I recommend you not exercise when you do a water fast or juice fast or master cleanse, but with Transform 30, it's actually part of the program. This is a cleanse and a tissue regeneration all at once. So the first part of the program is really easy. All you have to do is say yes to two shakes a day and the trio of Juice Plus capsules. This is a huge relief for many for several reasons. First of all, two shakes a day makes two easy to make healthy meals that have you feel full and not guilty. You actually feel good that you're doing something good about you, good for your health. Now, it also saves you money and it also allows you to feel more willpower in making other changes. I'll talk more about that in a second. Second, instead of wondering how much of this vitamin or that vitamin you should take, the 
capsules give you the real fruits and vegetables that your body needs in the first place. Where do vitamins come from in the first place? Vitamins actually come from fruits and vegetables. People don't have vitamin deficiencies. They have whole food deficiencies. Remember the pictures of the, all the fruits and vegetables I was talking about? When you're eating that orange, are you eating the rind of that orange where most of the bioflavonoids are? How about when you eat a pineapple, are you eating the core of that pineapple or the papaya seeds? The core of the pineapple and the papaya seeds have wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. Most people do not eat the most nutrient-dense parts of fruits and vegetables. When Juice Plus is made, the entire fruit or vegetable is captured, so you get all those nutrient-dense parts. The other half of the story are the shakes. My favorite part of the program is helping people gain willpower by using these shakes. So let's talk about willpower. What is willpower? Is it that some, st some people have a willpower gene and others don't? Well, when I researched this, I found out something very interesting. Turns, that, turns out that willpower is a function of blood sugar. Normally, people's blood sugar fluctuates all over the map after every meal. When you eat a meal without crunchy raw veggies, which is represented by the light blue graph, so this would be a meal that might have crackers, bread, soda, box cereals, soups, baked goods, alcohol, dessert, and candy, of course, all these suddenly raise your blood sugar and then there's a drastic dip that follows inevitably or you're on a low carb diet, or you skip a meal and then your blood sugar drops. When that drop occurs, you have no self-control. This also happens first thing in the morning as you wake up with an empty stomach, and even though you might not feel hungry, your blood sugar is very low. Therefore, you're convinced you need caffeine to wake up. Well, when you do two shakes a day, Starting with a morning shake, this stabilizes your blood sugar, which also reduces your stress level. This is shown by the dark blue graph. Due to the fiber content, complete has a low glycemic load. That means the sugar enters your blood more slowly, like munching on fiber-rich broccoli. This stabilizes sugar levels and makes it so much easier to avoid bad habits. I will share some stories later about people gaining more willpower from doing two shakes a day. So basically, Juice Plus, Juice Plus Complete has a low glycemic load, which stabilizes your blood sugar, and you also experience less stress as a consequence of that. Now, Juice Plus makes it very easy to eat two no-brainer, low glycemic load, healthy meals a day. You can take it before a workout or for breakfast as it has complex carbohydrates to fuel your muscles and your brain. You can take it after a workout to recover and help build back lean muscle as it is a great source of bioavailable protein. It is also a great option for the weakest food moment of your day. My brother used to go to the cafeteria in the afternoon starving and tired after a day of work and either make a poor food choice or buy a Snickers bar. He has replaced that weak moment with a complete shake and it's really helped him out. So let's move on to the next um, topic, which is protein. Now let's do a poll. Which do you think is the best source of protein? If you answered plants, that would be correct. Juice Plus Complete has incredibly bioavailable plant-based proteins. Many people are doing protein shakes that are pure protein and animal-based at that. Does anyone know why it might be a problem? What is the difference between pure protein powders and the complete shake? And why am I asking if the source is animal protein or not? As the name implies, Complete is a whole food-based drink because when you exercise, you need much more than protein to help you out. You need complex car carbohydrates, which come from plants, to give you energy during the workout and antioxidants, also from plants, to help reduce the damage from free radicals. You also need a source of protein that doesn't come from dairy, like whey or casein. These used to be throwaway proteins for making cheese, but the dairy industry has a lot of money and now advertises this as a good source of protein. And they're filling our schools with milk and filling our gyms with whey protein powders. Neither is a good idea. I see way too many people who work out and suffer from systemic inflammation, that is just pain, from taking these highly processed whey and casein powders, let alone the long-term consequences that has been shown that dairy proteins cause harm and turn on cancer genes. Complete gives you a nice source of plant sources that are safe, bioavailable, 
and utilized by the body to maintain or increase lean body tissue and muscle mass safely. The Soy Incomplete is a non-GMO and minimally processed soy. Now, many people have been told by their naturopath or nutritionist or by an allergy test that they're allergic to soy. What I've discovered is that the real allergy is to GMO soy. Now, I don't want to go into a big GMO lecture here, but basically 93% of the soy in the U.S. is genetically modified, and that's really bad for the gut. I'm writing a book on this, but I do want to talk about phytoestrogens. Now, Another topic of possible confusion is phytoestrogens, if you, especially if you do an internet search. First of all, if you recall, I described that one of the pollutants we all deal with, men and women alike, are plastics in the environment in our food. Plastics are called endocrine disruptors because they contain phthalates that mimic hormones in the body. They can set off reactions that lead to hormone-related cancers. On the other hand, phytoestrogens or plant estrogens are competitive inhibitors for estrogen sites. Both men and women can benefit from them as well as, be, uh, excuse me, because we all have estrogen in our body. The phytoestrogens block estrogen receptors and keep estrogen or phthalates from occupying those receptors and triggering cancer mechanisms in the body. Phytoestrogens protect the body from hormone-related cancers. Also, you can feel confident because these products have been researched for over 15 years by institutions around the world on different human populations of different ages, healthy and sick. Juice Plus has been clinically proven to be very effective in slowing down the disease process and aging in general. It's like oxygen. Just take it. I've been taking it for 20 years and recommending it for that long as well. As an example, this program with the complete and the capsules have been researched by MD Anderson Cancer Center on the toughest subjects of ovarian cancer patients. Do you know that cancer patients usually die from protein loss? It is very difficult to maintain organ tissue and muscle mass in a cancer patient and ovarian cancer patients have a particularly low life expectancy. This study compared two groups, one serving 10 servings of fruits and veggies and the others five servings in complete and Juice Plus capsules. What they found is that the Juice Plus group had better markers of health, better antioxidant status, and complete shakes made a difference in maintaining their protein status. So what you see here is 15 years of clinical studies. I really recommend the Platinum program with two shakes a day and your fruit, vegetable, and berry blend. When you do all of this, you'll get the maximum benefits. You'll get reduced abdominal fat, improved recovery from exercise, reduced inflammation, improved skin health, reduce the number of sickness days, improved respiratory system, cardiovascular function, gum health, and antioxidant status while promoting lean mass and reducing body fat. Now, who doesn't want all that? The rest of the challenge is the part of the challenge where you have to do your part because the two shakes a day and taking your capsules, that's the easy part, but they will help you give, give you that willpower and stabilize your blood sugar so you make better decisions and you'll find it easier to follow these other recommendations. First of all, you want to drink enough water such that your urine remains clear. You want to exercise if you're not already exercising. Just for 30 days, give up gluten and see what happens because no human being can really digest gluten. So wheat products are really terrible for us. Also, no dairy just for 30 days because it causes inflammations. And when it comes to calcium, leafy greens are your best source of calcium. Do anything you can to reduce your stress. Sleep. Plan ahead to get a full night's sleep. Don't eat late night meals and balance your caloric needs. This is not a diet. If you're exercising a lot, you can eat more calories as long as you follow the, these guidelines. Now, what would all this cost you? In the United States, if you do the two shakes a day and the three blends of capsules, it's only $6 a day. I mean, that's the price of a glass of wine or maybe a Starbucks latte. For $6 a day, you're getting two no-brainer meals that you don't have to feel guilty in fact about. In fact, you feel really good about it. Plus, you're going to get a food journal, support group through Facebook, body measurement tracker, shopping guide, and recipes for healthy snacks and meals. In Canada, it's a little over $8 a day. And in the UK, it's just under five pounds a day. That's a very reasonable price for such a program because you're replacing some of the calories you're eating 
with some really incredibly healthy products. Let's look at the results people are getting. Here's one woman who said, I'm flabbergasted on Facebook. She posted, I crave nothing. Hard to articulate how different this is, how quiet it is without all the voices I didn't realize were in my head, either tempting me or guilting me as I ate or denied myself. Now, peace. Now, Robin says, today I look at my belly and feel my belly, which has been inflamed since I was a baby. It is almost flat and I'm not holding it in at all. This means that also my belly does not hurt and that I feel good in my clothing. Why I think this is extra amazing is that I was already eating a gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, high-nutrient, dense, 90% plant-based diet. But this all happened since I added complete two per day. Two per day. Thousand cheers for Transform 30. Look at Michelle, 90 days later, not only has she lost some weight, but looks like she's standing up taller. And here's Adam, over the last four or five months, I dropped over 25 pounds and hit my optimal BMI. I credit that mostly to the Transform 30. Add to that, I no longer have a drastic in energy, I no longer have drastic energy dips, which I've struggled with for five years, and the migraines have gone way down. Turns out I have a gluten sensitivity. I never could figure out how to do an elimination diet to pinpoint a food sensitivity, but the Transform 30 did that for me. I even put gluten back into my diet to verify, and sure enough, major energy dip and a migraine. As a side effect, friends at work who have been razzing me to no end about my new health kick have seen me get into shape, feel better, and have even started eating better themselves, even as they tease me. I guess good health rubs off on others. And here's Tala. She is a she was a fit she is a fitness professional. And yet she found this program helped her lose that last 10 pounds. I feel energized, no more bloating, way less soreness, if any, after workouts. And I love all the compliments I get. The biggest change is in my face. So I included a before and after picture. Look at how incredible that change is. Now, what happens after 30 days? Well, if you're needing to lose weight, more weight or still have health challenges, you're going to continue with two shakes a day. Or if you're already in, into maintenance mode, you can still do one or two shakes a day. Continue to take the capsules because they'll help you maintain those new habits and continue to assist your liver in con con continuing to detoxify every single day. It's sort of a daily cleanse that's gentle and doable and helps you maintain lean body mass and get rid of all the toxins more efficiently. Now, for some of you, you'll want to share this with others. If you want to know how to start, call the person who shared the information with you. We have another presentation that my husband does that explains how you can get compensated for sharing. There are many healthcare professionals and fitness providers or just health enthusiasts that are looking for an alternative, alternative career as a way to create an alternate source of income. We invite those of you who may fall into that category or if you're just even curious to take a peek, Take a look at the Share the Love of Health and Independence with Transform 30 program as well. Again, it may or may not be a fit for you, but you may know someone for whom this would be a great option. So your first choice is to do nothing and take in the great information and continue as is. Second choice is to start the Transform 30 program and check it out for yourself. And the third choice is to find out more about how you can get compensated for sharing the love. Thank you so much for being with us today.